So this is your boy Terry and on this one I want to do an experiment. Um, I don't know how possible this will be that I'm walking around and um, doing a reaction video at the same time. But let's experiment. I'm, I'm practically looking for a less noisy place and you know I'm walking through some subdivisions and uh, there are not too many cars passing by here so I'm going to see and again I'm boring in most of my reactions just sitting in one place and generally I don't go out or you know walk the spaces but let's experiment and see if this will turn out fun um, so uh, I'm going to be reacting to Katrina Velarde basically um, uh, I'm doing her in conjunction no no uh, I'm listening to Katrina Velarde on this particular video um, there are reasons for this. A uh, person of interest for a period now has been Marisette Amon, but to be able to understand Marisette Amon's um, musical prowess and the person of her, there is need to pay attention to Katrina Velarde as well. Uh, but this is dedicated to Katrina Velarde and uh, I wonder where I'll put the, the screen. Anyway, uh, this is an experiment for the most part. I'm going to be listening to her taking, uh, let me go back, taking on a Beyonce song. And um, uh, there's also a reason for that. Beyonce is not very easy to, uh, a Beyonce song is not very easy to cover. She's not only about uh, the high notes, she's very technical and precise, you know, especially with her runs. Uh, she's very precise and uh, very technical, technical in the way she sings. You know, she's a mix between uh, the ballads and R&B. So uh, I just want to see how. Be, how uh, oh, my point is uh, the fact that you can take those very high notes does not mean that you can render a Beyonce track perfectly. So. Uh, let's see how she fares ultimately I'm um, so let's go now I don't know where I'm walking to anyway so uh, I'm going to be playing it now my hand is already in pain uh, let's go I'll endure the pain so I'll be playing the video now I'll keep this very short since it's just experimental for the most part so let's go she's going to be singing dangerously in love a very technical song to sing and let's go just a moment, let me play the song. Gosh, I'm going to have to change my hand. Shit. I'm a left-handed person and my right hand is painting me. Let me just back for this one.
I enjoyed it. This was torture for me. My, I, I'm a very weak person. I've not slept in years, and uh, this has told on my formation. Uh, no gym, no basketball. I used to play basketball. I'm six five. Really, um, I used to play a lot of basketball here in the Philippines. I've not had basketball for three years now. My everything about me is aching. So it was a, it was an enjoyable experience. I you know I don't run away from discomfort and I enjoy the pain while listening to Katrina Velarde. I mean she's worth it. Every human is that you're able to invest in them. You know, even in the face of consequences, and that's what happened basically. There's pain, but I enjoy the song Dangerously in Love. You know, there's bound to be pain involved, and that's what sometimes is the Masarap aspect of love. Love is beyond the feeling, it involves pain, self sacrifice, um, danger, you know, complexity, a person's interest be beyond yours, or I mean, before yours. You know, there's so much context to love and especially when you're adding uh, an adjective and calling it dangerously in love. You know, there's a way to express this emotion. No time for play. And that's where Beyonce is in that song. You know, no time for play. Uh, uh, you know, it's just like when Jesus went into the temple and he took a rod or a whip and whipped everybody away disrupt the table and everything because it was his father's house that's how love can be sometimes it's beyond the feeling it's strong thing strong thing and that's where beyonce is that no joke no you know she was her man side erupts or erupted you know to be able to render the emotions behind that song and these are aspects that need to be tapped it takes histories and stories and all that you know and so these are the things I was looking at for the most part when it came to the rendition of her rendition of the song you know no time for play no laughs and all that she did a good job you know vocally she did a good job but very hard to pull off a Beyonce song really and uh, we will establish this we'll get to a conclusion after I've watched many of her videos you know Mari said the last two Beyonce videos of her that I watched she was sweating my hair up to pull off a Beyonce song but she did well Beyonce is kind of precise her runs are uh, you know she does those runs like a preacher but she's in the middle she doesn't take it to extremities you know she's very precise uh, intact with her emotions the emotions she wants to portray and Perhaps she's a perfectionist, who knows, I don't know, but in music she takes her time really and uh, yes, there's the manly aspect to her rendition that she taps into, I don't know where from, but she sings with her being and her spirit and I see these things in her songs, you know, even just in the melodies, the arrangement of the melody. I don't know if she writes her song, but now we're talking of melody, uh, you know, lyrics aside. Uh, Yes, I also I see that uh, Katrina has Beyonce influence. You know, I see that uh, there's some aspects of the song that she rendered well with the Beyonce influence. Uh, she tried to make it her own, but it's very my hero to do so. You know, to make a Beyonce track your own. You know, to where it, you know, it becomes equal or better than Beyonce. Um, I, I love this. It's helping me go back, uh, you know, go back to. I've lost a lot of my soul, really. You know, I became surpassing Google. I became about the world, world adjustment. I went into too much isolation, but for a good cause, you know, to translate, uh, you know, this, things like discomfort or so called suffering and, you know, create, innovate. Uh, solutions and stuff like that anyway that aside so I like this um, I'm evolving using music uh, you know paint repaying attention to uh, I'm evolving really because anyway I, 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 I mean that I'm I like this you know because I'm not just watching Katrina Velarde and Maurice at Amon for music you know I'm paying attention to the elements of their human I've gone down to their interviews, you know, I want to understand their person 
and further understand the world in its truest state and these are some of the things I do with this experience I'm not conclusive yet uh, about um, Katrina Velarde. I'm going to watch other Beyonce covers of her. No doubt there are many other songs that she covers damn good. You know, never enough. You know, so I'm going to watch a few more Beyonce covers of Katrina Velarde and then we will conclude. My conclusions will come much later. You know, not right now. <laughs> right now there are persons of interest and I'm looking at them. Uh, I did, yes, so this is, I'm not going to edit this, I'll keep it as a tease, you know, bear with the shakiness of it, you know, the flaws that it contains and all that, just uh, get my gist, you know, pay attention to my underlying, uh, invest in my presence as I would in yours and as I am doing with Katrina Velarde in this very moment. You know, it's high time that we invest in fellow humans. That's where all value lies. Not in money, not in cheddar, paper, ladder, uh, career ladder, and all that, you know. Uh, yes. So, kudos to Katrina Velarde. Again, I'm not very conclusive. And um, uh, so I'll just keep it short here. Uh, and on to the next one. Uh, stay awesome. Every means to contact me will be underneath this video. Make sure to stay awesome. I'm your boy, Terry.